So do you feel your test ready? Yeah, definitely. Nah, I can't do this. You can't give up that quick. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just had to give up. Welcome to another video. So my name's Abby from Abba Drive Driving School. So this week's learner driver for the mock test is Eve. So Eve, tell the viewers a bit about yourself and a bit about your driving. Um, I'm 18. I've been driving for about a year and a half, learning to drive. Um, I've had about 20 lessons and I've got my driving test next week. That's fine. So do you feel your test ready? Yeah, definitely. And have you got any areas what you feel you're weak on? Sort of manoeuvres and positioning. All right. So what we'll be doing is, um, you must have watched our YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, we'll be you'll be driving independently, and at the end of the test, we'll go over the mistakes. So whilst you're driving, I'm not going to be helping you. So at okay. the end, we'll just go over the mistakes. And also, for those of you who haven't watched our previous videos, the serious faults will be in red text, and also the driving faults, which are also known as minors, will be in yellow text. And if you get any serious faults, it results in a fail. And if anyone wants a driving mock test, just like Eve, give us a follow on Instagram, drop us a message, and then we'll just select random participants. So, um, have you learned the examiners can ask you a tell me question before your test? Have you learned the tell me questions? Yeah, okay. So, um, I'll throw you an easy tell me question. So, tell me how you would check how should, how, how should the head restraint be correctly adjusted? Oh, shit. So you don't know it? No, I don't know any of them. Okay, that's fine. So um, <laughs> the answer is um, the way you check the head restraint is correctly adjusted. So the middle part, do you get it? So the middle mm. part, rigid part, should be as high as the eyes and close and comfortable. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So at the beginning, we'll be following the sat nav. Then after that, I might give you directions. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Move off when you're ready. When moving off, Eve does good observations, checking both blind spots. She doesn't signal it isn't marked on as there was no one around to benefit from the signal. <laughs> Have you been busy? Uh, not really. I've got a new job now. Um, so I start that on Monday. Are you looking forward to start the new job? A little bit. Don't get me wrong, I love being unemployed. Eve builds a speed over the second gear speed and leaves it very late to change into third. This noise was killing me. You can see from my facial expression. I wish it was just a driving lesson that I could have just intervened and told her to change the gear. Oh, I don't like that you're writing things down. And when changing it into third now, she doesn't press the clutch in fully. I could be writing you good bits to get it. Yeah, that's true, that's true. At the end of your test, do you go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe? Of course. Oh dear, that's <laughs> sick, that. Then just follow the sun. She does apply a signal when turning left, but doesn't check her mirrors. When you stop behind another vehicle in traffic, you should leave around 2 metres off space. Eve gets very close to the vehicle in front. She deals with this roundabout well, apart from not checking her mirrors before applying the left signal. Go around the roundabout, first exit, mile Standish Way.
The speed limit transitions from a 40 to a 30. Eve carries on driving at her own 35. The G had to step in and give her the first serious fall. And that's it. They were far away. It's slow down. Slow down. At this roundabout, Eve signals slightly late. You should always signal just before you start slowing down, so the vehicles behind have enough time to react. Go around the roundabout, second exit. She exits well by checking the mirrors then applying the signal. Approaching this roundabout, she doesn't check her mirrors or apply the signal. Go around the roundabout, first exit. And when turning left, she positions the car to the right rather than positioning it to the left. This time she does check her mirrors before applying the signal. Go around the roundabout, first exit, then take the second left. Just before she enters the roundabout, she does get confused with the direction the sat nav is giving. She forgets to change the gear and leaves it in third, so stalls mid roundabout. It is a serious fault as we did become an obstruction. This is where Eve clicked that she really messed up. What's that? Which way does it want me to go? Left First, or right? Left, left. I knew exactly what was going to happen though. Man just couldn't step in and help out, as it was a test. Find it safe, pull up on the left hand side. Sorry. Yes. Again, before applying the signal, she doesn't check her mirrors. This time it is a serious fault as she has made the same fault multiple times before. Move off when you're ready. Before moving off, she doesn't do any checks over her left and right shoulder. Move off when you're ready. Again I made a pull up on the left to see if she'll do any checks over her blind spots. But before moving off she didn't do any observations again. This time it is marked down as a serious fault. Here I'll be posing Eve one of the show me questions. She did have slight problems with it but we got there eventually. When you find it safe, show me how to open and close your windows. Then the back two then? Yeah. Couldn't even tell me. Do it in the front as well? Yeah. So really when they ask you, they mean your side. My side? Yeah. I didn't even know that. At least they didn't open the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> Whenever I ask that question, I always think someone's going to open the doors again. Do you? Imagine. Oh my god, I can't believe that. After turning right from this junction, she doesn't straighten her steering wheel in time, so oversteers. <laughs> the 
The speed limit on this road is 40 mile per hour. When it's safe and clear, you should be reaching the speed limit. Eve is driving slightly slow. At this roundabout, she signals right when going straight ahead. It is marked down as a serious fault, as the signal did confuse the vehicle on our right whilst we entered the roundabout and made them slow down slightly. Go around the roundabout, second exit. From being close to the centre line, as she moves over to the left to select the correct lane, she should have checked the centre and left mirror in case as a cyclist. To go straight ahead at these traffic lights, you need to be in the left lane. Eve selects the right lane instead. There's nothing wrong with going to the wrong direction, as long as it's done safely. She doesn't check her mirrors or apply the signal. When stopping behind a vehicle in traffic, you should use the ties and tarmac rule. Eve uses the bumper to bumper technique, which isn't recommended. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane. Oh fuck, what do I do? Well, I've gone this way. Turning left, first exit. You're too good for this, aren't you? <laughs> oh, don't say that. Approaching the roundabout, she slows down, but doesn't downshift the gear to first source stalls, but reacts well after stalling. Luckily, there were no vehicles around that were affected, as this could have resulted in a serious fault. So there's two lanes on the left, she should either choose a left or right lane, she ends up driving in middle of both lanes, but then does select the right lane, luckily there were no vehicles affected as this would have also resulted in a serious fault. Straight ahead. She moves over to the left lane, but checks the mirrors after moving over, mirrors should be checked before. You own the roads. I know. I wish I did. So can you see that vehicle parked on the left hand side? Yeah. We're we gonna pull up behind it. Okay. Here I'll be asking Eve to carry out the parallel park manoeuvre, which was definitely interesting. Have you done a parallel park before? I've done one or two. She pulls up behind the vehicle in front very close. Yeah, so you just do the parallel park. Okay. Let me just see what's going on with this guy. Because she pulled up behind the vehicle in front very close, it's impossible for us to move off safely without hitting the vehicle. Eve tries to move off, so I had to intervene. Right, stop. You're not going to be able to go. Okay. Oh, 
Right, is that all right now? Before moving off, she should check over that right blind spot and also apply the signal. What am I coming out to here? Just let's see how you do it. She gives up on the manoeuvre. I did feel a bit sorry since her confidence levels were quite high before the test. <sighs> nah, I can't do this. Alright, okay. Yeah. Nah, I can't do that. Move off. You can't give up that quick. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I don't even know what I'm doing. So here I'll be telling Eve to do the emergency stop, which she does pick up a serious fault in. Yeah, so shortly we're going to be carrying out the emergency stop. When I say stop, you just need to stop. When stopping, she doesn't break firm enough. It was just like a normal stop and a stop that wouldn't save someone's life. Also should break first, then put the clutch in. Stop! Move off. Before moving off after the emergency stop, it's imperative to check over the blind spots, which Eve does. As she pulls up on the left hand side, she grazes the curb. Nudging or grazing the curb in slow speed is only a driving fault. It's time to wrap up. Let's find out what Eve thought about her driving. And switch the car. Oh no. Yeah, so that's the end of the test. How do you feel that you done? It's not my best performance at all. Okay. So do you think you passed or failed? I failed. What on? Oh, I don't even know. What do you think you could have failed on? There was a lot of things. Like? Positioning when yeah. I was driving. So I'll go over it from the beginning. So um, whenever you're moving off, you need to do what? Which blind spot checks? A couple of occasions when I made you pull up on the left. Yeah, you did. Which, the first... bl which blind spot were you missing? I think it was the one over my shoulder. Yeah, the right one. I didn't one. check the first two times and then yeah. I realised. Yeah, so a couple of times you missed them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you need to check them blind spots. And then after that, um, obviously, if you miss them a few times, it yeah. becomes into a serious fault. Do you get that? Yeah, yeah. And then there was um, the speed. Do you get it? That was another yeah. serious fault. Um, so the, it was a 40 mile per hour road. It dropped into a 30. There was an orange sign just before the run, but, but we didn't slow down at all. We kept okay. at the same speed. We were on about 37, 36. And then I had to intervene and tell you to slow down. Okay. Do you get that? So that was another serious fault. Then after that, um, there was that roundabout one come if you can remember you stalled in the middle of the roundabout yeah and that's when you thought i think that's it game's over yeah for sure <laughs> for <laughs> sure yeah then other ones were like okay you might have thought it's 50 50s yeah but then after that that roundabout one i think that threw you off yeah it most, did because you stalled in the middle of the roundabout mm. and as you stole in the middle of the middle of the roundabout you become an obstruction to other vehicles yeah um also um Whenever I make you, uh, so, so, there was once or twice I made you pull up on the left hand side, um, we grazed the curb a little bit. Right. Uh, what okay. you need to remember, if it's in slow speed, it was a driving fault. So I only marked it as a driving fault. Like, right. But remember, but you, every time when I'm telling you to pull up on the left, you're getting very close to the curb. Yeah. yeah. And the other occasion, there's a few times, uh, what happened is, um, uh, but do you know what? You're driving in like middle of the lanes. Do you, know what I said? Do you know what I said to you that it seems like you're on the roads? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. I know. I meant like basically you're driving like um, any lane. Do you get it? Yeah. So there's, when there's two lanes, you need to either be into the left lane or the right lane. So when we turn that roundabout to the left, which lane do you think we should have picked? 
Probably the left. The left lane. Which one did we go into? The right. Yep. Yeah, from right to left when you moved. You didn't even check your mirrors. Do you get that? And if you don't check your mirrors, there could be a vehicle on the left-hand side. Do you get that? Yeah. So that's why that is so important to check the mirrors. There's a lot of occasions where you're missing your mirrors as well. Okay. And then um, there was a point where you said um, you, when we went to the wrong direction. Remember, if you go to the wrong direction, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. Do you get that? As long as it's done safely. You did ask me what should I do now, but I didn't want to intervene because at the mm. end of the day it's a test. I don't want to help you out. That's I just true. want to see how you react to it yourself. Okay, cool. Yeah. Moving on um, to the parallel park. Um, oh, don't. That was horrendous. How do you feel you've done on the parallel park? Not good at all. I just mm. had to give up. <laughs> like, yeah. I just had to. Yeah. So the parallel park is you just need to obviously practice on that manoeuvre. You did say you test next week, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the parallel park definitely needs working on. Okay. Cool. The Nizan. So also the emergency stop. Um the emergency stop is an emergency. Do you get it? So why so, would you stop in an emergency? Because if you don't stop then you're gonna end up killing someone. Well, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Do I just stop as like just stop like I did? Was that fine? No, it's like an emergency, so you've got to stop. Say for instance, someone's in front of you. Say a human, do you understand, is in front of you, and then you want to stop to save the life. Do you get it? How are you gonna stop? If a child just runs across the, how are you gonna stop? You're gonna stop. You're gonna slap. You won't. Well, you'll break very hard with your clutching. So you meant to break very firmly. With your clutch in straight away. Do you okay. get that? So what we've done is we stop like if we stop like that in an emergency, trust me, that guy would be on the stretchers and way gone in the hospital. <laughs> so so that was a serious <laughs> So that was a serious do you get that? Yeah. And then moving off I thought you're gonna miss your blind spots. Really? But you didn't miss your blind oh, spots. Do you get it? After the emergency stop, you did check your blind spots. There's quite a bit of work, in, a work needs on your driving. And also, um, like, gear change. You change the gear quite late. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I did realise that today. I was fearing for my car in case it gets damaged. Oh, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> but um, we're changing it a bit too late. Okay. Do understand? So how many faults and minors did I get? Majors and minors. I'll have to sit down and I, where do I start from and where do I finish? So I'll have to sit down. It'll probably take me a couple of hours. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not that bad. Don't worry. Okay. Do you get it? So obviously, it is, at the end of the day, you can't improve on these areas. Yeah. So you don't worry about it too much. Focus on your driving. There's no point, obviously. Um, you will have regrets, so I could have done this better, that better. Yeah. But just focus on what you need to improve on and work on that. That's the only way to solve things. Okay, cool. Do you get that? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times you're in a higher gear and yeah. you're lifting the clutch up. So if you're in a higher gear, say for instance you approach a roundabout and you break with your clutch in, you're reducing your speed right, mm. but then you're not what? Changing the Gears. gear. So when you drop your speed, you need to change what? The gears. The gears. Do you get that? So just work on these areas if you're driving. Hopefully, um, you'll do all right next week. Do you get that? Mhm. Mm so, yeah. So if this video has benefited you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video.